Assalamualaikum and a very good day to Dr. Zaki and all of the class. We are from Team 1, consists of myself, Mama Akil, Aaron and Farahanis, and we will be presenting on the coal, natural gas and crude oil to ethylene processes. In this presentation, we will talk about the process of from coal and natural gas to methanol, methanol to ethylene, as well as the crude oil to ethylene. The process of coal to methanol is started with coal gasification to produce sine gas or as known as synthetic gas. This gas consists of mainly carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas with smaller amounts of carbon dioxide and methane. Usually, the ratio of hydrogen gas to carbon monoxide in a sine gas is from 0.3 to 1 and to convert this gas to methanol the ratio of it must be equal to 2 and to increase this ratio extensive water gas shift reaction is required as shown in this slide methanol is produced through catalytic conversion of hydrogen and carbon monoxide this shows the mechanism of syn gas to methanol which involves of carbon monoxide with hydrogen gas to produce ethanol. Now we look at the process of natural gas to methanol. A natural gas is converted into sine gas through steam reforming of methane and it produces a high ratio of sine gas. Same as the coal to methanol process, natural gas also undergo water gas shift reaction and the condition are slightly different which it uses catalysts of nickel, zinc or aluminium oxide and it is the same mechanism with the coal to methanol. These are the examples of methanol production plant which located in Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, USA, Germany and West Africa. For my part is a reaction between a uh, methanol to olefin process which is a uh, ethylene so the methanol to olefin reaction can be accomplished using solid acid catalyst which is zeolites and sapos and the methanol to light olefin process is considered to be a promising approach to replace the conventional route of naphtha thermal cracking because of the alternative and abundant resources for methanol. So the conversion of methanol into light olefin proceeds through the dehydration of methanol to dimethyl ether which then, then react further over the catalyst to produce ethylene and propylene. The reaction equation for this process is uh, methanol is partly dehydrated in the first reactor over a slightly acidic catalyst to form an equilibrium mixture of methanol, dimethyl ether and water prior to being fit into the next reactor. In the next reactor, the mixture is converted to, to olefin depending on the used catalyst and the process of reaction condition. On the other hand, the, selecti the selectivity to light olefin increase remarkably at high temperature and low pressure. The least used for this reaction is it can be zeolite and SAPO34. These two zeolite allow shape selectivity being thus able to promote the formation of small product like olefin. This mechanism for this uh, reaction in this reaction mechanism, different zeolite or SAPO influence the reaction product based on their internal structure. So the two basic types of structure is this which is framework containing simple channel through which molecule can flow and framework containing channels that open up into wider cavi cavities within the structure. So the structure containing only channel will allow the aromatic product to escape the zeolite or SAPO as organic product. So this is a condition for this reaction which is at low temperature for 420 Kelvin. The conversion of methanol exceeds 98% and the selectivity of ethylene achieves 86%. So for this reaction, it uses a fluidized back reactor which is favorable with respect to the exothermic reaction so that the release heat can be removed faster. So this is plant in Malaysia that uh, produce ethylene. Moving on to the next process which is the production of ethylene from steam cracking of naphtha. This is the general process flow diagram for this process. Naphtha, which is refined from crude oil, enters the steam cracking facility to produce ethylene. Now we will look deeper into the steam cracking facility. The steam cracking facility is divided into three main sections, which are the hot section, which includes the furnace, primary fractionator, and the quench, 
the compression section which consists of the compressor and the dryers and the cold section this is the equation of the reaction and some of the operating conditions are first the furnace consists of two zones which are the radiant zone and the convective zone the radiant zone operates at a temperature of 750 degrees celsius and the convective zone operates at a temperature of 650 degrees celsius the stream is then rapidly quenched to a temperature of 300 to 400 degrees celsius this is followed by a multi-stage compression system to raise the pressure of the lighter gas products to around 4 megapascal. Based on the information obtained from the journal, this reaction does not use any catalyst in its reaction. Now we will look into the reaction mechanism of steam cracking process. This is the reaction mechanism of the general steam cracking process. And these are some of the companies who are using this process to produce ethylene in their manufacturing plant. The comparison between coal, natural gas and crude oil as feed to produce ethylene are mainly focused on the steps involved, catalyst involved and the condition. For coal and natural gas, the steps involved contains three steps but for crude oil only two steps.